we got a lot of new features regarding Neuromix with the 5.3 update. And my favorite one is this really cool Neuromix crossfader. So the, in the middle over here, we have this, and then we could press this drop down menu. We have EQ, Neuromix EQ, or Neuromix crossfader. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to map a Neuromix only controller. So you could plug it in with your regular controller, still have all your features on your controller, plus have a controller just for Neuromix. So the first feature that I wanna map is this really cool Neuromix crossfader. So to map a controller, what you're gonna do is press the middle button. You may be in modes, but you could go over here to settings, MIDI devices, and then choose your controller. I have two controllers connected at the same time. I have the Hercules Control Mix Ultra, and then I have this kind of MIDI device. It's not even really a controller, but it has these cool buttons and knobs, so I wanted to map it. And yes, you could have as many controllers as you want plugged in the DJ Pro at the same time. So I'm gonna click that controller. It may look complicated if you never mapped a controller before, but the way to find out what you're mapping is to turn the knob. So you turn the knob and then it highlights it over here. If it's a controller like this one, I think, that isn't pre-mapped with DJ Pro, this may look empty, so just keep that in mind. But once you touch the button or knob, it'll show you what you could do with it. So here we are, CC70. And now it took me a while to figure this out, but the crossfader, the Neuromix crossfader is gonna be target mixer, not one or two. So target mixer, that's where it's gonna be. And then the action is what it's going to do. So the target's the mixer. And then now we're gonna put, press the action button and we're gonna wanna scroll down to Neuromix crossfader. So here's Neuromix crossfader. And then we're gonna press Press that one, turn the other one, mixer, Neuromix, Neuromix crossfader, bass. You could do three bands, two bands, or four bands, but I have four knobs here, so I'm just gonna do four bands, but you could do this on any controller or, or any MIDI device. There we go, next one. And then we're gonna press save once we're done, and let's see how it worked. So just like that, that's the first one, that's the second one, third one, fourth one. Really cool, this is my favorite way to make mashups with, with Neuromix, because you can instantly go to vocals only, instantly go to vocals only on the other side. So that's mapped, so that's a great idea if you have a controller with some extra knobs. It's Most controllers will only have three, some will have four, so you could do different bands to change the bands over here. You could do three, two, but we'll leave it at four. Now next, what are we gonna do with these buttons? I'm gonna use these buttons to make, to isolate, isolate the track. So if we press over here. Every night I pray, one day I'll make the change, break these chains and rise above. So if we press these buttons here, it's gonna make it a solo. So I'm gonna use these four knobs to make it a solo. So we're gonna press the middle button, go back here, choose our controller, press the button. And now this is gonna be target deck because we're gonna control this deck's Neuromix and then, the, and then we're gonna use this side to control the right size deck's Neuromix. It's not in the mixer, the crossfader is a mixer because it controls both. This was hard to figure out, but we're gonna scroll down almost all the way to the end and then we're gonna, and then we're gonna choose Neuromix Neuromix channel, so it's Neuromix solo. And we're gonna do the drums for this one. We're gonna do the bass for this one. And then the harmonics and then the vocals. And then we're gonna repeat the process on both sides. So here we go. I'm gonna play the track. Now next I have these knobs down here. I'm gonna use these for the Neuromix isolator. So to map this feature, we're gonna use deck one and deck two. So I'm just gonna do deck two first and then we can map the other side to match it. So then we're gonna go down to the action and we're gonna scroll down and it's called the Neuromix filter in instrumental acapella. Now this used to be the feature down here. There used to be a slider and you could slide it from instrumental to acapella, but they took that away. 
but you could still map the feature, so check it out. So you can no longer see the slider going back and forth, but you could see in the waveforms that the waveforms are changing when we're taking out the vocals or we're just doing an instrument only. I think this was a really cool way how to map Neuromix and use all the buttons and knobs in this controller. I still have two knobs left. I think I might just use those for regular volume knobs so at least I can control the volume if I don't want to go to my other controller and if you guys want to see all of the new features with the new 5.3 update check out this video over here